Steve Kornacki over at the board with more than the, he's got more on the 270 electoral votes that are needed. How's it looking this morning with 24 hours to go? Yeah, well, you're just talking that this campaign is ending in sort of an unlikely place. The Rust Belt. I don't think at the start of the campaign we thought that's where both candidates would be finishing. Why are they finishing there? So you can see the state of play and you can see the hole Donald Trump's in. These gray states, these are sort of what we've been thinking of as the toss up states, the battleground states. And you can see if you're Trump with Clinton that close to 270, you lose one of these. She's over 270. And look, they've been getting some particularly the Trump campaign has been some particularly discouraging news out of Nevada. <clears throat> if Clinton just wins that with the traditional battleground, she's over 270. So you've got to flip a state from blue to red if you're Trump. Where do you look? You look for states that fit your demographic profile. Rural populations, white working class populations, probably not a large Latino population, given the indications we're seeing about Latino turnout. So where's Trump been? Well, he was in Minnesota. As you just said, he's in Michigan today. Pennsylvania wants to finish in these three states. What do they see when they look in those states? They see like the Upper Peninsula, the rural parts of northern Michigan, Macomb County outside Detroit. They see like the Iron Range in Minnesota. Minnesota. They see the rural sort of interior of Pennsylvania. Those are the opportunities they see. Make no mistake about it. This is a long shot move by the Trump campaign. As the gray states disappear, they need to make something else happen. And good point. Who paid attention in school when we learned the abbreviations <laughs> of states? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Next, he's going to wow us with the state capitals.